Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mommy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Mummy Pig has made a special box for Peppa. Peppa, this box is just for you. Thank you, Mummy. It's a secret box for you to keep secret things in. What things can I put in it, Mummy? <laughs> Only you can decide that, Peppa. It's your secret box. I know what I can put in it. Good, but don't tell me. I won't tell you or George or Daddy. It's a secret. George, this is my secret box. It's empty. I have to find some things to put inside. <laughs> George wants to help Peppa. No, George. Only I must know what's in the box. You have to wait outside while I choose. <laughs> Peppa is going to choose some secret things to put in the box. <laughs> My secret box is full. George, you must not look inside. George would like to know what is inside Peppa's secret box. If you like, you can try to guess. <coughs> dinosaur! George thinks Peppa has put a dinosaur in the box. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. Anyway, a dinosaur is too big to fit in the box. George cannot guess what is in Peppa's secret box. Daddy Pig is cleaning a picture. Daddy, this is my secret box. Mummy made it for me. It's very nice, Peppa. What's inside? It's a secret. George tried to guess, but he didn't get it right. Can I have a try? Yes. Hmm. Have you put my glasses inside? No! <laughs> your glasses are on your head. So they are. Silly Daddy, you must have a proper guess. OK. Have you put Mummy's shoes in the box? Nope. And that's all your guesses used up. Peppa likes secrets. Bobby, no one knows what's in my box. Oh, what has George got? I made a box for George too, and he's filled it with secret things. And only George knows what's inside. Oh. Pepper would like to know what is inside George's box. It's George's toy dinosaur, of course. No. George's toy dinosaur is not in George's box. <laughs> it's too difficult. I'll never guess. Pepper does not like secrets as much as she used to. Maybe if you showed George one thing from your box, then he could show you one thing from his. OK, but we must do it at the same time. That's a good idea. On the count of three, you each show what's in your boxes. Ready? Yes. One, two, three. George has a drum <laughs> and Pepper has a trumpet. <laughs> Yes, it sounds very nice. Do you have any more secret things? <laughs> George has a custard donut. Oh. But Peppa's box is empty. I've got nothing else. Luckily, I have. Come on, tuck in. George, Peppa, Mummy Pig, and Daddy Pig all like custard donuts. I don't have a special box, but I know a very good place to hide my custard donut. Can you guess where? Are you going to hide it in the fridge? No. Somewhere much more special. My tummy. Mm, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hide mine in my tummy. Me too. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Daddy loses his glasses.
<laughs> Daddy Pig wears glasses. He needs to wear glasses to see clearly. When Daddy Pig wears his glasses, everything looks fine. But when Daddy Pig takes his glasses off, he can't see things clearly. Everything looks a bit soft and fuzzy. So it is very important that Daddy Pig knows where his glasses are. <laughs> Sometimes Daddy Pig loses his glasses. Pepper, George, have you seen Daddy Pig's glasses? He can't find them anywhere. No, Mummy. Pepper and George do not know where Daddy Pig's glasses are. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig cannot see a thing without them, and it makes him very grumpy. Without his glasses on, Daddy Pig cannot read his newspaper. This is ridiculous. I can't see anything. Somebody must have put my glasses somewhere. Do you remember where you last put them, Daddy Pig? When I don't wear them, I always put them in my pocket. But they aren't there now. Daddy, can we help find your glasses? Good idea, Pepper. If you find them, Daddy will stop being so grumpy. I'm not grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are looking for Daddy's glasses. Pepper looks under the newspaper, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. George looks on top of the television, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. Let's look upstairs in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. <laughs> Pepper and George are looking in Mummy and Daddy Pig's bedroom. George, be careful not to knock anything over. Ah! <laughs> It's not funny. Pepper looks under the pillows, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. George looks in Daddy's slippers, but the glasses are not there either. <coughs> <laughs> Let's look in the bathroom. <laughs> Pepper and George are looking in the bathroom. The glasses are not in the bath. Oh. The glasses are not in the toilet. Oh. <sighs> it's too difficult. Pepper and George cannot find Daddy Pig's glasses anywhere. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find Daddy's glasses. Oh dear. Now what can we do? I suppose I'll just have to learn to do without them. If I move slowly, I won't bump into things. There they are! Daddy's glasses! Daddy Pig, you were sitting on them all the time. Oh. <laughs> Silly Daddy. <laughs> I don't know how they got there. <laughs> I wonder how. <laughs> 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 well, you may have been a bit silly, Daddy Pig, but at least you're not grumpy anymore. I was not grumpy. <laughs> 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 Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Dressing up. Peppa and George are playing in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. <laughs> What's this? Pepper has found a box of old clothes. Wow! This is Daddy's hat. And this is Mummy's dress. 
George, let's dress up and pretend to be Mummy and Daddy. <coughs> Here is Daddy's hat. <coughs> and who is Daddy's coat? <coughs> Hello, Daddy Pig. <coughs> <coughs> now it's my turn. This is Mummy's dress. <coughs> This is Mummy's hat. <laughs> Daddy Pig, where are your shoes? <laughs> I need some shoes too. <laughs> now I need to look beautiful, just like Mummy. Peppa has found Mummy's makeup box. Aha! <laughs> For some powder. <laughs> Lovely. Now for some lipstick. What a pretty Mummy Pig. <laughs> Come along, Daddy Pig. It's time to go to work. <laughs> Mummy Pig is working on her computer. <laughs> hello, Peppa. Hello, George. I beg your pardon. Peppa, I was just saying hello. I'm not Peppa Pig. I'm Mummy Pig. Oh, yes, of course. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello. <laughs> and this is Daddy Pig. George. <laughs> and hello to you too, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I've got a lot of work to do. Hello? Yes? Do this, do that. No, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Pepper is enjoying pretending to be Mummy Pig. But George is getting a bit bored. <laughs> Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm nearly finished. There, all done. Come on, Daddy Pig, it's time you did some work. Goodbye, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig is digging in the garden. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. I'm not Peppa, I'm Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Daddy Pig is here to do some work. That's very kind of you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> now be careful, it's a very deep hole. <laughs> I hope you are not digging in your best clothes, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make big snorts too. <laughs> Ice cream, everyone. Ice cream? Pepper? George, you must take off those muddy clothes before you eat. I'm Mummy Pig and this is Daddy Pig. Are you sure? Yes. So, where are Pepper and George? We don't know. Oh, well, that's a shame because I've got their favourite ice cream here. But if we can't find them, then... Here we are. Pepper, <laughs> George, there you are. Yes, Mummy. We were just pretending to be you and Daddy. <laughs> you really had us fooled. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Not very well. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have just made breakfast for Pepper and George. Breakfast is ready! <laughs> Pepper has red spots on her face. Mummy, I don't feel very well. Oh dear, Pepper, you don't look very well. Don't worry, I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Pepper is not very well. Her face is covered in red spots. Hmm. 
Put Pepper to bed, and I'll come straight round. Dr. Brown Bear has come to make Pepper better. Hello, Pepper. How are you today? I'm not very well. Stick your tongue out, please. Hmm. It's not anything serious. Pepper has just got a rash. Do I need medicine? The rash will clear up quickly, but if you like, I can give you just a little medicine. Yes, please. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. Open wide, please. Ew! Disgusting! You are a brave little one for taking it so well. Pepper must stay in bed. I'll call back later to check that she's better. Can Pepper have visitors? Oh, yes, she can have visitors. The rash isn't catching. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Dr. Brown Bear. Bobby, can I get up now? Dr. Brown Bear says that you must stay in bed for a little bit, Pepper. <sighs> but it's so boring. Dr. Brown Bear did say you could have visitors. <laughs> can Susie Sheep visit me? Susie Sheep is Pepper's mm. best friend. I'll ring Susie Sheep's mummy. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Pig. <coughs> May Pepper talk with Susie, please? <coughs> Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. I'm not very well. I have red spots on my face. Has the doctor been? Yes, Dr Brown Bear was here. He said I wasn't very well and that I was very brave. So are you really ill? Yes, yes. It's not pretend. I have to stay in bed. <coughs> Dr Brown Bear gave me medicine that tasted really horrible. I'm coming to see you. <laughs> I'm going to wear my nurse's outfit. Susie Sheep has come to see Pepper. Susie is wearing her nurse's costume. <laughs> Danny Dog and Rebecca Rabbit have come along too. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Pepper. Pepper. <coughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? I'm not very well, Susie. I have to stay in bed. What can we do to make you better? <coughs> you could get me some orange juice. OK. <laughs> Pepper seems to be quite enjoying herself. <laughs> Thank you, Susie. Do you feel any better? A little bit. <coughs> Daddy? <coughs> Ask my mummy if I could have some ice cream. And Rebecca, could you bring me some flowers from the garden? Dr Brown Bear is here to see if Pepper is better. Ah, good. The nurse is already here. How is the patient? Uh, I'm not a real nurse. It's just pretend. I see. Would you like me to take a look myself? Yes, please. I say, no more red spots. You're completely better. Aren't I still a bit ill? How do you feel? I think I should stay in bed a little bit more. Hmm. I fancy a game with this ball in the garden. Who wants to join me? Me, me, me. Me too. <laughs> well, I never. A complete recovery. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. Peppa Pig. Pepper and George are drinking orange juice. <laughs> what noisy little piggies. <laughs> George, look at all the tiny bubbles. <laughs> I can make bigger bubbles. <gasps> Pepper is blowing bubbles in her drink. <laughs> Bubble. George wants to blow bubbles too. <gasps> Uh, George, you really shouldn't play with your food. Sorry, Daddy. <coughs> Pepper, if you like bubbles, why don't you play with your bubble mixture? Yes, my bubble mixture. 
George, let's blow bubbles in the garden. <laughs> Peppa is showing George how to blow bubbles. First, dip the stick in the mixture. Then, take a big breath and blow. <gasps> Bubble! <laughs> George, now it's your turn. Dip the stick in the mixture. Hold it up. Take a big breath and blow. George is trying really hard, but he is running out of breath. <laughs> George, you didn't blow hard enough. I know a way George can make bubbles. Dip the stick in the mixture, then lift it up and wave it around. <laughs> <laughs> it's even better if you run along. <laughs> Wait <for> me. <laughs> George is having fun making bubbles, and Pepper is having fun popping them. I love bubbles. <laughs> oh dear, the bubble mixture is all used up. Don't worry, Pepper. I have an idea. <laughs> Mummy Pig, bring me a bucket, please. Yes, Daddy Pig. Pepper, bring me some soap. Yes, Daddy Pig. George, bring me my old tennis racket. <laughs> a bucket, some soap, a tennis racket. What is Daddy Pig doing? First, I need some water. Then the soup. <laughs> and now, the tennis racket, please. <laughs> Thank you. Now watch this. <gasps> Ooh, wow! <laughs> Daddy Pig has made his own bubble mixture. Come on, everyone! <laughs> be careful, Daddy Pig. Don't slip and fall. I'll be fine. <laughs> Are you okay, Daddy Pig? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> wow! Daddy Pig has made the biggest bubble ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I've spilt all my bubble mixture. Now we can't make any more bubbles. <sighs> but we can play jumping in muddy puddles. Look! Daddy Pig's bubble mixture has made a big muddy puddle. Hooray! Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Look! The bubble mixture has made the puddle all bubbly. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy, bubbly puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy, bubbly puddles. These are the tales of Peppa E. X. E. Our tale begins late one night in the pig house. Peppa and George were fast asleep in their beds until something began to happen. Peculiar noises and strange lights flashed through the window and woke Peppa up. What's that sound? Outside our window. A UFO? That's nonsense. It's probably just a weather balloon. Now get back to bed before I slap you. Pepper and George, it's three in the morning and you've woke us up. No more cartoon corruption videos before bed. We really saw a UFO. Please believe us. <laughs> what on earth was that sound? It must be a burglar. Well, that's all right. I'm strapped. 
This bad mother will take his silly head clean off. I'm going to handle this. You stay here and call the police. Who's there? Come on out now so I can blast you. Madame Gazelle, what are you doing in my house at three in the morning? Madame Gazelle wouldn't respond. She just stood there staring off into space. All right then, have it your way. Bing bong boom. What are you? The visitor was not Madame Gazelle. A transmission, something, a shapeshifter from the other side, older than the stars. The entity's presence wormed its way through Daddy Pig's fragile mind. Get out of my brain, Robin. Say hello to my little friend. I wonder what's taking him so long. Was that a gunshot? Peppa, you and George stay here. I'm going to go find Daddy Pig. Peppa, come see this. George! There is nothing here. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. The Tooth Fairy. Pepper and George are having their favourite food. Spaghetti. <laughs> what a lot of noise! Finished! Ah, now we'll have a bit of quiet. <laughs> What's that? It's a tooth. Where did that come from? <laughs> Pepper, maybe you should look in the mirror. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's my tooth. It's fallen out. Don't worry, Pepper. It's just a milk tooth. They're meant to fall out. Will I grow a new one, Mummy? Yes, you will, Pepper. It also means the Tooth Fairy will be paying you a visit. Tooth Fairy? Yes, the Tooth Fairy. If you put the tooth under your pillow tonight, the Tooth Fairy will come. The Tooth Fairy will take the tooth, and in its place, she will leave a shiny coin. When I grow up, I want to be a Tooth Fairy. Oh, <laughs> and what would you like to be when you grow up, George? Dinosaur. <laughs> a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> George, it's bedtime. We don't want to miss the tooth fairy. <laughs> Pepper cannot wait to get into bed. Pepper is putting her tooth under the pillow for the tooth fairy. Good night, Pepper and George. <laughs> Good night, Mummy. Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. George, I'm not going to sleep. Let's both stay awake all night and see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> this Tooth Fairy is very late. Oh. The Tooth Fairy is taking a long time to arrive. Where is that Tooth Fairy? What is that noise? Is it the Tooth Fairy? George, can you hear something? Oh, George. Oh, the noise is George. He was so tired he has fallen asleep. 
George is not very good at staying awake, but I am. I'm going to stay awake and see the Tooth Fairy. I'm not going to sleep. <coughs> the Tooth Fairy has arrived. But Peppa is asleep. Hello, Peppa. Would you like this coin in return for your tooth? What a nice clean tooth. Thank you, Peppa. Good night. Peppa, George, wake up. It's morning. What? I wasn't asleep. Did the Tooth Fairy come? No. Let's take a look under your pillow. Oh, look, Peppa. The Tooth Fairy has been and she's left you a coin. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you fell asleep, didn't you? Well, maybe I fell asleep just for a little bit. <coughs> Next time I will stay awake and I will see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Mr. Skinny Legs. Peppa is playing with her doll's house. George is playing too. <laughs> Pepper is making a tea party for the doll family. Here, George. I'm the mummy and daddy. You can be the children. <laughs> children? It's nearly tea time, so you must wash your hands. George is putting the dolls to bed. Night, night. George, why are you putting the children to bed? They're having a tea party. <laughs> George likes putting the dolls to bed. Children, come downstairs right now, or you won't get any cake. George isn't listening. He's too busy putting the dolls to bed. George, if you want to play with my doll's house, you have to help with the tea party. Here, George, you can fill the teapot with water. <coughs> Children, come downstairs right now. Mummy, we're coming. <laughs> George is going to fill the teapot with water. Ooh. George has found a spider in the sink. <laughs> George wants the spider to be his friend. Oh. <laughs> George likes the spider. <laughs> the spider likes George. <laughs> Pepper loves playing tea parties. <laughs> Where are all the chocolate biscuits, Daddy? We had lots yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry, Mummy. I must have eaten them all. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Naughty, Daddy. George is putting the spider to bed. Night, night. George, what are you doing? You have to help me with the tea party. <laughs> Oh, oh, don't worry, Pepper. Please, Daddy, take it away. <laughs> no need to panic. Hello, George. Have you seen the spider? It's too scary. Take it away. There's no need to be afraid, Pepper. Spiders are very, very small and they can't hurt you. But don't worry. Daddy will take it out of the bedroom. Whoa! He's quite big, isn't he? Um, I'll just fetch Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig! <laughs> Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. Peppa feels a little bit braver. He likes being in my doll's house. Hello, children. I hear you found a little spider. I'll take him out of the bedroom so you two can play. Mummy, his name is Mr Skinny Legs. Mr. Skinny Legs is big, isn't he? <laughs> Peppa and George like the spider. Mummy, Daddy, 
Sit down. We are all going to have tea with Mr Skinny Legs. Who wants tea? Me, please. Me, please. <laughs> Delicious. Pepper loves playing tea parties. <laughs> Here's your tea, Mr Skinny Legs. What's that? You want to say hello to my daddy? Hello, Mr Daddy Pig. Hey, uh, that's all right, Pepper. <laughs> Let Mr Skinny Legs drink his tea. You're not scared, are you, Daddy? Oh, no, of course not. Well, <laughs> not so close. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> Pepper likes Mr Skinny Legs. Everyone likes Mr Skinny Legs. 